Brant and Rave, here we go. Let's first talk baseball. And, Tucker, we do not know who the Braves will play in the National League Championship Series as the other series, the Dodgers at the Giants, has to conclude on Thursday night. But I think we know enough about what the Braves have done so far and what they did against Milwaukee to have an opinion about how they can do against one of these two teams. What do you think? Well, I think it's not official yet, but I still think the Dodgers are going to win this series. And I think that's bad news for the Braves. Yes, the Giants have had a great season just like the Dodgers, but the Braves proved just a few weeks ago that they seem to do a little better against the Giants for whatever reason. The Dodgers pitching is just so good, and I worry about the Braves facing them. I already lost one World Series pick, though, so maybe I'll lose another and the Dodgers will get put out. I had the Braves going. Well, I don't know what's going to happen on Thursday. It's going to be a classic matchup, of course, those two teams battling it out. Um, If the Dodgers win, the Braves have the home field advantage in the next round. If the Giants win, they do against Atlanta. And Atlanta would go to San Francisco to start the the series on Saturday night. Uh, Part of me wants the Dodgers to win so the Braves can have the home field advantage in games one, two, six, and seven. That may help them a little bit against the Dodgers. Um, I mean, it's a crapshoot as far as which team is the more difficult one because they're both very, very good. I do kind of lean toward hoping the Dodgers win so the Braves can have them as the opponent, mainly because of that home field advantage. And also, Blake Kershaw's not pitching. Now, they've got Scherzer. They've got uh, Walker Bueller. We know how good he is. They've got Julio Urias, who's very good as well, who pitched on Thursday night. But, um, look, I, I think the way the Braves are playing right now, uh, with only giving up six runs to Milwaukee, hitting those home runs uh, as they do, uh, they're dangerous, and they're a different team than only an 88-win team. So they're not going to get any love, but I think they've got a chance to b- beat one of these two teams, and and um, all they need is a chance, and I'll take that chance uh, against one, either the Dodgers or the Giants. Um, of course, the home run on, on Tuesday by Freddie Freeman to win the game was unbelievable, one of the best moments in Braves history, really, at that ballpark. And will that perhaps guarantee that he's going to stay in Atlanta? Well, I, I still think the odds – against him leaving are are just low. I just don't think he's going to leave. And therefore, I think, yeah, I mean, you know, every big-time moment for Freddie Freeman in that uniform, Tucker, I think makes it more difficult to think of him playing somewhere else. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, much before that moment, I mean, he's proven time and time again how valuable he is for the Braves. But yeah, obviously it was a huge moment. Hopefully they keep him around. And there's been uh, a lot of talk this year and doubts about his future in Atlanta, but he's proven he's – He's said, as far as I know, that he wants to be there, and uh, he's proven it on the field that he is. He should be there, so they should do whatever it takes. No doubt, no doubt. All right, let's talk football now. Georgia, number one team in the country, you haven't heard, but they'll play yeah. a, against uh, Kentucky. Will they cover the 20-something points that they are favored by on Saturday? I think they will. I will say they cover the spread because, uh, you know, I doubted Georgia going into the Auburn game. I said Auburn's their first real test, and – Despite Auburn scoring, uh, getting more yards than anybody else, I, I just I think I don't think the game was as lopsided as the score. I know the score is all that matters. I know I'm sounding like a, a barner right now, but uh, Auburn did better than people thought. I'll give them that. But Auburn is similar to Kentucky, I think. Despite Kentucky being six and zero, I think Georgia just runs away and, and, and destroys the Wildcats Saturday. Well, I've said that Kentucky might be the most challenging team for for Georgia in this three-game stretch here, mainly to make you mad and to make Arkansas fans mad. Um, I I mean, they got the leading receiver and leading rusher in the league, and and I think you gotta you gotta respect that. But I think Georgia will blow them away. I don't think the Auburn game is close at all. Um, (laughs) Twenty-four points uh, is not close, and y'all drop receive drop balls, drop catches, and that means you're not very good. So. You know, I, I think Georgia's the best team in the country, and it may be their year. And if it's not, it's going to be a Jim Jones-like suicide in Hazelhurst come December. I'm just kidding. Uh, if but it's not I, this year, when will it be? I mean, yeah, come on. I know. I mean, it's it, this this if this is not the year, when will it be? After 40 years, this is a great, great football team, and uh, Kentucky's mouthing off. Let them, but you know what? Um, I think Georgia's going to beat the crap out of them. Same. Final topic. Can Alabama bounce back after it's lost to A&M? Yes. You know why, Tuck? They're Alabama. They are. They are Alabama. I will give you that. But I I, I do think Mississippi State will be a bigger threat than people uh, think. Because remember, Mississippi State beat Texas A&M. And uh, that's a team Alabama was really uh, had, a, had a tough time against. Obviously, in the past, when Bama loses, they bounce back and destroy their next opponent. But I think we may be at the beginning of the end. I'm being hopeful here. 
But I think we'll have a decent game on our hands Saturday night. I'll take Bama to win, but I think it'll be closer than uh, the spread indicates. Well, I, I mean, I think they'll bounce back kind of in general, too, because, um, I mean, you know, you can't count them out. People are going to want to count them out because yeah. they gave up 41 points. It's Alabama. We, we've, yeah. we've learned. Don't do that. Just don't do that. Great sure. week here in the state of Georgia for sports. We will see you on Friday night for high school football.